from New York and literally if the gates of hell could have opened like and I actually like seen it it literally happened everything that could go wrong went wrong um I literally was living in a hotel Is this on? Yeah, it's on. Alright. <laughs> Is this on? Yeah, it's on. Alright. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Um, it is Omari Bryant. As y'all see by the title of the video, um, yeah, y'all y'all see the title because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna name it yet, but y'all already see the title. I'm not even going to waste too much time. We're not going to make this a super, super long video. But y'all did vote for a um, for a life update video. And I'm going to give it to y'all. So I hope y'all is ready. You might want to go ahead and get a little tree. You might want to get a glass of wine, something. Because what I'm about to tell y'all, y'all going to be like, wait, what you mean? What? And we didn't know. We didn't see. How not? Child. Let me just be real with y'all, okay? So, one piece of exciting news that I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I don't know if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know why not. So we get all the exclusive updates. Um, I am in Atlanta, Georgia now, so I finally made it. I'm so excited um, to finally get here. I was supposed to be here in December, if mostly my, my OGs remember. I was supposed to be here from December. And what I mean to tell y'all, I'm just gonna give y'all a quick, quick, synopsis of what happened i sold my house left my house the pandemic destroyed the entire rental market and and housing market especially in the state of florida in the tampa bay area and your boy was left with either um <laughs> either paying a ridiculous amount of money for rent for a tiny little apartment or um for a house or i would find something and it would just get rented immediately or they would outbid me, basically. So that left me really with nowhere to go. So when I went up to Rochester, I didn't have necessarily a spot to come back to set, per se. Um, as if you guys know that I was, um, well, yeah, I might as well say, well, yeah, I was dating. I'm no longer dating anymore. Um, the relationship has ran its course. It yup, 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 yup. It did not work. We're moving on. Um, I know a couple of you guys have DM me and asked me like, hey, is he going to be in any more of the vlogs and stuff like that to give you guys a direct short answer? The answer is no. So, um, no, predominantly, I've always said I never wanted a couple's channel or anything like that. So, you know, it was always going to be Omari Bryant. We're not adding another individual as like a permanent, you know, person that you guys will view because it's not about to happen. Y'all just get this, this, this face and, you know, I mean... Y'all must like this face because y'all, you know, y'all still here. But anyways, 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 too much rambling. I'm already getting back to the freaking video. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I came back from New York and literally if the gates of hell could have opened like and I actually like seen it, it literally happened. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Um, I literally was living in a hotel from no, from literally basically like the middle of November all the way until March, basically. Yeah, March. So um, <clears throat> that being said, guys, I'm just going to say this. What? What I mean to tell you, I'm one of the most humblest individuals, right? And I never take anything for granted. I take life with a grain of salt as well, too. Um, I've had to grow up at a very, very young age. And I realize that there are times that you just have to just say, you know what? It's happening. Let me deal with it. And that was me. And what I mean to tell you, when you're this close, this close to homelessness, you have to make some very drastic decisions. And 
You know, I never thought in a million years that I would ever have to live in a hotel. Um, I never thought that I wouldn't be able to pay bills and have things get turned off out of my control. Not even a payment arrangement can help it, you know? Like, at, at, at the end of the day, like, I don't care how much of a following I gain, how much money I make. I will never forget my humble beginnings, you know what I mean? Like, you guys probably see all these other influencers and stuff like that, and, you know, they're posting up and on vacation or in their stores, spending all this money. Y'all ain't gonna see that for me. I, I'm just gonna be 110% with y'all. You guys are not gonna see that for me. I may go shopping, but you'll never catch me no Gucci, no Louis Vuitton, no, um, no, n none of that. You're not gonna catch me in any of that. No Balenciaga, no. If I buy something designer and maybe one item and and that's really it, I'm not a big fan of stuff like that. Me, I'm more of a tech guy. If I can get more things to go ahead and make beautiful content for you guys, that's that's the type of thing I like to do. And I'm a freaking clipper nerd. I love clippers because I like to cut hair. Um, and I'm still a dental nerd too, so I like a bunch of dental crap. However, that being said, guys, um, I just really, really want to let everybody know, okay, that don't think that you're alone when you are going through something. It doesn't matter. The person that you may be watching on your phone screen, your TV screen, um, your tablet screen, whatever, you never know what they may be going through. I still made as much content as possible as, as I could for you guys, and I just did not go ahead and express everything that was going on at that time because I just didn't know when it was going to end. And I finally feel like the move here and the breakup literally put an end to the turmoil that was going on. Um, <clears throat> I am very, very excited to officially announce that I did go ahead and land a job at my first official barbershop. I'm super excited. They took me in with open arms. Um, this is like a pretty dope shop. One of my favorite barbers that I follow on Instagram, he actually works in the shop. So what an like, rewarding, amazing experience that's gonna be. Um, and they are open to me making dope content for them. And I'm just like, what? You mean to tell me you want me to bring my camera to work? You want me to go ahead and take photos? You want me to make content? Heck yeah, let's do it. So I'm super, super excited, guys. Like, just so excited. I'm so excited. What I mean to tell you guys this, I am working on a couple of things, like a couple of things. And what I mean to tell y'all, like the next couple vlogs coming like next month and on, are gonna be epic as fuck. So, that being said, let's see if I went down the list. The breakup, what happened the past few months, where I'm at now, what's going on. Yeah, I'm pretty much, that's it. For, pretty much for like right now is a life update. Um, as far as my health goes, I know a couple of you guys have been checking up on me and I appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. You guys don't realize, even if it's a, just a comment or a DM, you have it's it feels so heartfelt to look down at my phone and I'm, it's not it's something besides barbering or something besides something else that I got going on or whatever and it's always good to see you know hey Omari how you doing are you okay how are you feeling you know I, I really appreciate that type of stuff guys like I, I really do it's near and dear to my heart I really appreciate that but um my my good good friend that lives here jasmine she is going to be starting her channel really 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 soon and i'm super excited to go ahead and help her on that journey um so when we have a launch time and all that um i, I need y'all to go ahead and do me that good favor and go support my girl because she is going to give y'all a lot of good sauce especially when it comes to oral health um, and if you know anybody that is thinking about joining the dental career, um, she's going to go ahead and help out a lot of people with a lot of great information. So definitely check that out. But my fellow millennial coiners, I just want to let y'all know this. If y'all want to look for a bag soon, please, 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 please stay tuned in and tell a friend or two because it's good for you and tell them to go ahead and subscribe. And join the millennial coin. Like, come on now. Who 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 don't want that millennial coin? I know you do. I know you I know you do in the back back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you over there too? Yeah. Alright. Um, I love y'all ever so much for the little bottom of my little heart. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>